There are other features other than multiple choice. There's also text entry, which is like a short response. It can be multiple lines, even an essay. Again, you can even open up Enrich Text Editor if you'd like. Here, this isn't a question for them to answer. This is text to maybe explain reasoning or provide context. You can also change it to a graphic or a file upload as well. Matrix table is probably one of my favorite questions to ask just because of how customizable it is. You can change it to multiple different kind of surveys. Unfortunately, when you do change it, it will sometimes overwrite your choices and there is no undo button here. So you will have to do it yourself. It is also important to know that down here, there is a mobile friendly toggle. That way participants are taking this on their mobile device. It will look a little bit more clean in a phone or tablet setting. Coming, we have the slider. You can change it from slider to bars to stars. Again, suggested themes custom start points. This is nice. You can change the minimum to the maximum. So you can make it out of 10 if you want. Question seven is a form field. You can see you can click to edit validation and it will actually open up the choices that you've added. And I can actually add a validation, which means it will say if it is a valid phone number or not. a valid email address, or even a valid US state. Question eight is a rank order, different formats. There's a drag and drop, radio buttons. Question nine is asking, what is the superior wing joint? This is a side-by-side -side question. And this, they are comparing two different items in the same categories. We have entered the graphic block. So these are all questions that deal with graphics. This type of slider makes it a little bit more engaging. You can change it from gauge, thermometer, stoplight, smile, and plenty of other choices. This is type called a heat map. So the user would actually click where on this ad appeals to them first. And based on their click, will show up in the results. And this is what it would look like in a preview. If I'm second guessing myself, and if I wanna change it, I can always move it as well. And lastly, we have the hotspot. This is where you can set up predetermined squares that they can click on. You just have to add a region. You can even duplicate it, edit the shape. There are different interactions and visibility types. I made sure mine were always visible. And there's the on off, which just makes you check it once and it's green or you can check it another time and make it X. So my question is, which part of the film was your favorite? Uh, my favorite was the rising action, and my least favorite was the resolution. 